Hey y'all, what's up? It's your boy Brandon here and welcome back to Gran Turismo 2 where we last left off I was in the middle of the Sunday Cup's third race at Red Rock Valley Speedway. I placed first in that and behind the scenes I bought the racing chip for the Toyota Supra. We are about to enter the FR challenge. We're going to step up ahead a little bit. Now to enter this I had to take out the racing intercooler to get my horsepower down to 295 or less. We're running on 291. So, here we go. Oh, and after the Sunday Cup and Clubman Cup, this is where you start getting the prize cars. So, now I don't really remember what I get for the FR League. Well, first race, really. So, let's give her a go. For Clubman Stage Route 5. I'm going to try not to look back that much. And whatever times I look back, I will try to count it all. In fact, I should have probably done that for the first episode, because it's like a dirty habit. Some people smoke, some people do heroin. I look back. It's a nasty habit to try and kick. Okay. No, I wasn't trying to say that my habit was as bad as drugs and heroin, but you get the hit. The fact that I have to explain my joke out kind of makes me want to blow my head off my shoulders. Not apologizing for that joke either. Dab. Oof. Yeah, I just try to get like the Roblox sound behind me every time I, uh... Every time I hit the wall really hard, just like, OOF! I can't really do it as well because I was like a child who would do that noise back uh, back in the game. I never played Roblox. I played Minecraft plenty, but never Roblox. Couldn't get into it. My brother tried it. But I, it was just never for me. I ain't doing too bad. See, next I want to try and get the sports tires. They'll boost my grip a little bit good. The best tires to get in this game is definitely the Racing Super Soft. And I hear some of you probably asking, Oh, but Brandon, Racing Super Soft, don't they burn out, like, really quick? No, these tires last a pretty good while in this game and in Gran Turismo 1. Hell, I would love to play GT1 sometime for y'all, but I, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, speaking of which, I was experimenting with my memory cards upstairs a little bit earlier, and apparently you can copy a PlayStation 1 save file over to a PlayStation 2 memory card. Pretty cool. Oh, well, there we go, we won that race. I could have sworn there were two Miatas in this race. The wall is the other one. Really? It was just the 1.8 RS the whole time. Okay, that's that's weird, but whatever. The frickin' Superman. She she she's mean. Alright, ooh. Now I'm gonna go check out my new whip. Um speaking of which, um if you say the word whip in um, Gran Turismo 6's online chat, like, hey man, nice whip, it censors the word. Oh, the silady. I don't think I need this, though. I mean, it's nice looking, but I don't think I need it. Hmm. Yeah, just get rid of it. Yeah, I don't need it. I mean, it's a nice looking car, but... I mean, it's slower than my Supra, and I don't really need it right now, so... Let's just go put the tires on the Supra. Alright, so Toyota... Tune... Tires... Sports tires... Alright, next race. Oh, we're making good time. We got... it's five minutes in. That's not bad. 
Back to the FR League and special stage route five this time. Now this is gonna have some more powerful cars, so I'm gonna need to put my uh, intercooler back in. And here we go. I remember the first PlayStation 1 game I ever played. It was Jet Moto 2, the Champions Edition. Basically, it was Jet Moto 2, but with everything unlocked from the beginning. It was so much fun. And to be able to have gotten Jet Moto 2 at Retro Underground, or to have, to have found it, and for a good price, too. I think I got it for like a dollar. But anyway, to have gotten that game again, it was so cool. And there was another game I had while I was a kid, Judge Dredd, based on the movie starring Sylvester Stallone. I think that's who that was, I don't know. But anyway, and I know Sly too from Rocky. I mean, go figure, I'm Italian-American, so of course I know Rocky. I mean, who doesn't? Yo, Adrian! No, that was a horrible Sly impression. I am ashamed. But anyway, yeah, my second PS1 game I ever played was Judge Dredd. So much fun, and I'm still looking for that game. Heck, I must have searched everywhere, though. I searched Retro Underground. I even searched another, uh... Another old video game company here in town, Cartridges Galore. I even searched them. Nobody has Judge Dredd. I'll have to search eBay, but the last time I got on eBay and tried to get something, it was a disaster. In fact, little background story, me, Gina, and David have all ordered something off of eBay this year, and it still hasn't come in. We ordered back in, like, what? January or February? David ordered a new PS3 controller because the one he had was being crappy. It never came in, but luckily his PS3 controller is acting right. So, good thing it started getting right at the right time. And then Gina had ordered something for her friend for her birthday. I don't think that came in either. And then I ordered a PlayStation 2 off of eBay. And it never came. So we canceled that order and reordered a new one. That one never came in, so we just said screw it and gave up. Ultimately, I picked up my one I had before at a flea market, and then that's the one that kind of burned out. And then Retro Underground replaced my burned out PlayStation 2 with the one I'm using right now. So it's been an interesting 2017 in terms of video game consoles for me. In fact, it's about to be a really interesting year. We're about to hit 10,000 views across everything. And I'm taking a risk talking loudly too because, well, my dad's asleep and my sister's still up. And by my sister is still up... <clears throat> I mean, Gina does not like it when people are talking, that's one, look back once. My sister does not like it when we're talking loudly at night. Like I remember this one time I was doing a Christmas Eve live stream in 2016. I was playing Super Mario 64 and I started doing a few of my uh, joke voices. Gina comes in and is just like, uh, how do I say it nicely? She's being a shrew. So, basically, the stream was ruined. She bombed the stream. I wanted to punch her in the throat that night, but I'm a nice brother. And it was Christmas Eve. I didn't want to end up on Santa's naughty list. Well, then again, it was the day before Christmas, so what can you do? You already dropped off my presents, fat man. Okay, do I have time for the next race? Looks like I may. I may have time. Wait, hold on. 493. I'm gonna need some serious power. What I win. The 270R. 
Ooh. Sells for good price and 264 horsepower. But I don't need that car right now, so I'll just put something in the Supra. Alright. Ooh, that'd be nice. But I don't have 50 grand, so I'm gonna have to get what I can right now. Stage 2 turbo. Oop, I already have the computer. I don't want to take too long in this. Port polish. Alright, I'm at 360. I should be fine. Let's go give her a go. And I have four minutes to run. Let's do this. And let's do this quick. I don't want to waste any time. Alright, let's see my opponents. Alright, let's go. Come on. On delay. Alright, I see... A newer Supra. Come on, speed up, speed up. I see everybody pulling away from me. That's not good. Alright, I see a Jaguar. I don't know what that is. That yellow thing right there. After effects, that's two. I think that's an Audi. This is probably going to be a close race. Already at 12 minutes in. Mustang. Ah, I'm off track. Who's in first? Be like a Corvette or something. Uh, it's, uh, I can't even tell still. It's still kind of blurry. Looks like it's a Camaro, I think. Still can't really look back. Yeah, that's a Camaro Z28. Alright, well, I'm in first. So let's just get this going. I may be able to finish this race in time. Just don't screw up. That's four. And that Camaro is trailing up to me. I better get something good from this race. Again, I've done like three playthroughs of this game before, but I don't have the price cards memorized. Probably should have invested in a close gear six speed transmission. That probably could have helped me. I don't know. I, at least I'm doing good now. Just try not to screw up. I've always loved midfield though. It's a fun, simple track. I also love how they got Stone Temple Pilots on the soundtrack. I just hope they get Stone Temple Pilots on the soundtrack for like GT Sport or GT7. Especially seeing as to how, I mean, they just lost two of the front men that were, well, that sung for the group. I mean, Scott Whelan died in 2015 and Chester Bennington died just a few days ago. I can't, I couldn't believe that, like, that shocked me. Oh, the Camaro SS, alright. Alright, well, that'll do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.